Hi there, welcome to Nancy Smart Solutions. I'm so excited about this video. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you and showing you the first principles behind multiplying fractions. I'm excited about this. Remember, we multiply across the top and we multiply across the bottom. But why? Welcome to Nancy Smart Solutions. I'm so excited about this because we're looking at the first principles behind multiplying fractions. Have you ever thought about why we multiply fractions the way we do? Now look at this, this is exciting. Okay, look at this example. Say I want to multiply two thirds by one half. Okay, so we are told from our math teachers, and that is right, that of course when we multiply in fractions, we should multiply across the top, which will be two times one, which is just two and then three times two which is six of course we could simplify our answer now let's look at why this works all the time and remember not to forget multiplying fractions multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom the numerators at the top the denominators at the bottom okay so we're going to look at a one by one meet uh, area a one by one square and look at how that could help us so think of this square here so let's assume that it's a one by one so it has an area of one meter squared okay so there's one meter in there and one meter there okay we're gonna have two thirds so if you go across this way and split this into thirds okay it might not just be perfect but it helps us to understand so i've got my two thirds that i want i want from there to there so my two third is there that's two thirds now I want to have one half going the other way around. So I'm gonna split this into a half, okay? So that is where my half is from there to there is one half of this shape. What I'm interested in is the overlap where my two fractions meet. So I can tell that my two fractions meet here, this part here, okay? And you can see from the diagram that all together we've got two different shaded areas which is two areas out of one two three four five six different areas therefore i've been able to work out what two third times one half is so two third times one half is finding out all together what have i got if i have two thirds that way and one half this way okay so two thirds i've got it that way and then i've got one half this way now all together i've got this part of the area where they merge where they meet so i've got two areas out of six possible areas okay now let's go with the father whether this actually works for other ones so let's look at another example let's see i want to work out four fifths and i want to multiply that by three quarters okay so let's see will this work for any two multiply two fractions when multiplied so again i'm going to consider my one by one square which is one meter squared i'm going to have my four fifths so i'm going to split fifths this way so that's one two three four and five so i want a fifth so i want four four fifths so i'll go one two three four so from there to there is what i'm interested in this part to that part is what i want that is my four fifth okay now i want three quarters the other way so i want to split in quarters so that's one two three and four okay so i want one two three of my quarters that way so that's what i want so that's three quarters i want to see where they both merge okay so i'm gonna try and get a different color to help us notify it okay so they both merge from there to there and then from there to there and then from there to there and from there to there okay so as you can see i'm gonna count how many little squares are in the portion that i want okay so in that portion i know i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve different little squares 
okay so i've got 12 squares that is needed out of i've got 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 out of 20 so basically i've got 12 out of 20 i have multiplied these two fractions and remember when multiplying fractions is the same as multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom of course i can simplify my fractions i'm gonna teach you the trick in simplifying fractions sometimes it's very quick okay now remember this if i want to do four fifth multiply by three quarters i could say of course pair our rule across the top is 12 across the bottom is 20 now if i have them both like you'll be told that will be six tenths and if i have them again i get three fifth now this process could be a little bit daunting sometimes and sometimes if it's a non-calculator paper and you work and especially for those of us doing gcse foundation you might not just see it so let's look at it here okay so i could look at it as four fifth times three quarters i could actually switch around the bottom numbers because i know four can divide into four so i could say this is the same as three fifths times four quarters okay so by switching the top three and the four switch around i could see that this four divided by four is just one so three fifth times one is just three fifth okay then you notice that it's the same answer there okay like there and there some people are very good at this and they could say actually even though i'm multiplying two fractions i'm also dividing at the same time therefore i could actually see here that this four is dividing this four so they tend to cancel themselves out. the only numbers left at the top here is three and the bottom we've got five again that is quicker all right so when multiplying fractions number one look out for patterns number two remember it's always multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom now i hope and i know that your fractions are solid they are really solid in my own words bare solid now you know why we multiply fractions the way we do don't forget always multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom and please like share and subscribe to this youtube channel because there's more to come for you and i hope you go ahead and smash maths well done for staying tuned